Hey guys, so I have had a lot of, I've seen a lot of questions in a bunch of like different Pokemon ROM hack servers on uh, transferring save files to a new update on console. So this, this will work on basically any ROM hack that has that feature enabled. So like Pokemon Recharge ZL, for example, has this. Um, Fire Red Extended has this, and I think Unbound as well, but Unbound hasn't been updated in a while. So any kind of game that is still being updated for ROM hack wise, this should still work. Um, I actually wrote a little bit of a guide on this in the Fire Red Extended Discord. I'll leave that in the description below. Uh, it's in the pinned comments in the, uh, the UM thread. So the first thing we want to do is you want to load up the game and then turn off your console. So what I mean by this is just load up the game, let it boot to at least I'd say probably the uh, the title screen is fine. Get there how you want. Just buy other one. It just so it would like this, or you know when the screen pops up, just go through the start screen, press start, like that. And then just turn off the console. Just power button, turn it off. Let's get it going. So I'll be on back with the next step. Okay, now that the 3DS is turned off, we want to boot into GM9 or Godmo9. If you know how to do this, just press and hold the start button and press the power button on your 3DS. If you have Godmo9 installed, this will pop up. What we want to do is I'll actually make the top screen a little bit bigger for this. But what you want to do is go down to Sysnan Virtual, press the A button, and then press A on the AGB save dot bin. This will always pop up when you have something like stored in the virtual memory. And in this case, it's recharged DLO. After that, we want to press A on the AGB save option, and then select dump GBA VC save. What this did is it just now successfully dumped our save right there to the GM9 out folder. So after this, what we are going to do is... Well, there's a couple things we can do. We can check the um, the newly save, like check the name of it. So sometimes when you make a TID, so the way save transferring works is you need to have the same name as you did with the old file. Right. This is a big thing with like Fire Red Extended. It's the big thing here with this as well. So if you had it so if your CIA your CIA was named Pokemon Recharge DLO dot CIA, th this new one needs to be Pokemon Recharge DLO dot CIA. It needs to be the exact same written every time. So with that being said, since we have this done, we are actually going to just reboot our console and we want to delete the old version off the console and all that requires us to do is just go into uh, fbi and to uninstall the title so if you don't know how to do that already just go wherever your home your fbi is on your home screen on your uh, home screen go to s uh, actually go to titles and then this is going to, depending on how many you have here, it's going to take a little bit longer to load everything. I have a good amount on here, but it's not too hard to find. So there's recharge DLO. So I'm actually going to take a note down of the TID here, of the title ID. And we will check it later.
when we get to that point. We shouldn't have to check this, uh, just because the newly saved should still be on the SD card in the same spot. So what we'll do is we'll click on delete title. I'm actually also going to delete the ticket if I still have it. The ticket is actually what lets you install it as the CIA. Uh, the title is just the game. So now since the title is deleted, which would be in the old version, we are going on to install the new one. So actually, I don't have the new one installed yet on my console. But what I'm going to do is I will actually show you how to make it. I already have the new one made, but I'll show you how to make it. So I'll be right on back as soon as I get onto the PC screen. Okay, so now last couple I forgot to mention. Uh, now is the time to take out your SD card of your 3DS. So when you do that, what we want to do is we actually want to go into the... Uh, if the Discord you're in has the files go in there, like their their updates, go into that Discord server and grab it. In this case, with Recharge CLO, we actually have to go into the uh, the downloads. So we do have all of them here. If you're doing Fire Extended, it's the same thing. You'll go to uh, Fire Red Extended Downloads, and you'll go from there. And I'll have another video on that one when it, when the latest update comes out, but it's the exact same process as Recharge Yellow. So I already have 1.5 downloaded, and actually the CIA made, like I said. So when you go and do that, what you want to do is head off to uh, ROM Patcher JS. I don't know why I didn't click on that one. So you want to be here, right? Actually, I'll also turn my mouse cursor on as well. The other thing you want to do is you need to have a base oh. Emerald ROM. I cannot show you how to source that just because of legality reasons. But if you have um, an Emerald cartridge, go ahead and dump it from there. And you've got your ROM. I can say only that much. I can't physically show you how to get ROMs after that point. You got to do that yourself. But once you do that, go download the 1.5 version here. And then go to the ROM file. You want to grab your Emerald version USA. Go to patch file. Choose the file. And then recharge the old 1.5.0 dot bps after this it's going to say a source rom check some mismatch i showed this on purpose because this emerald version is already the patched game so you want to make sure that you are using um a clean emerald so in my case i'm just going to look up pokemon emerald since i already have it and I would use this one right here. Since this is already... Actually, no. It'd be this one here. Sorry. This one right here. Uh, the USA Europe. I sourced mine locally. Well, I sourced mine from other means. But you essentially would source yours any other way. Assuming you have cartridge, that way's better. So once you choose that file, go ahead and hit patch. It's going to then give you a... Pokemon, Emerald version, you, and then whatever, dot, 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 uh, parentheses patched. That is your recharge yellow copy ROM hack right there. Now, if you want to play it as on 3DS, which, or 2DS, which is why you clicked on this video, you want to open up NSUI, new, so, new Super Ultimate Injector for 3DS, yada, yada. Uh, you want to click on File, then click on New Game Boy Advance CIA. Now, I already have this all done, but like I said, I'll show you anyways. So we'll go in here, um, drag and drop it. It's going to tell you there is no screen box art items for the chosen ROM, because this is a ROM hack. So NSUI is not going to have this on hand. We can actually just search what we want, and in this case it would be Fire Red. And then you want uh, Rev 1. So you USA Europe Rev 1. And then, uh, really, this is all up to you. What you want to give it, uh, long name, short name. 
I usually just do the name of the hack for them both. Right, I'm not going to fully actually show this off. Um, you do the same thing for the short name if you want. Game publisher. I just do the author, like the developer. So in this case, it's Jaizu, uh, Jaizu Productions. So I would just put Jaizu. And then uh, image file. There's not good images for this game. So I just went to Google and just downloaded, you know, a, the <laughs> the Pokemon Game Boy Yellow cartridge box, box art. And then... For the banner, I actually did find the title screen. Um, so I just did that. The virtual console button here. This is what's going to come up when you highlight the the, the title, the banner-wise. Uh, do with what you list what you want. It's the same thing like having the name and then the release date or Jaizu as like the author. Um, injection method, you want to keep as GBA Virtual Console, because when you run this game as a CIA, it's going to run through the Game Boy's native emulation. Uh, the 3DS has, the 3DS and 2DS family has, uh, a native, uh, GBA emulator. You can go ahead and use that, it'll be fine. Uh, edit content options. This is more specifically for like VC stuff, so you can do like a sleep patch if you want, or if you want a physical hard reset pat, uh, hard reset combo that the Game Boy did, like the Game Boy Advance. Uh, start select A B or by default you can do L R start select. It's up to you. I do A B start select since it's easier to get to. Once you have that saved, you'll click OK, and then you want to hit Project, Export CIA. This is where that comes into play. Where I mentioned whatever you named it as before, you want to have it named here now. Um, so what we're actually going to do is I'm actually going to make a new, this new one here. I'm going to make just because the version I have was off by someone else in the community. So I'm going to just do all this quick. And then, um, actually, I don't like how that is. Um, yeah, there we go. And then I'll just say it was released. Oh, we'll do okay first. And then I'll just say, typically when the game is released. So, in this case, it'd be like eight twenty three twenty two. So I'll just do two thousand twenty two. And then select okay, and then uh, A B start select for me, on the reset hit okay. Now here we're gonna do expert CIA like I said, and then the seven two twenty four is actually from a someone else in the server. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give that the exact same name as here file name save as CIA. So what I'm actually gonna do is. Now I'm going to put the SD card in my PC, and then we're going to actually uh, save it there. So I'll be right on back when I do that. Okay. So if we go to this PC and then we find our SD card, we're going to go here. And then I'm just going to hit save. It's going to save everything that we just made to that spot in the SD card. Uh, it might take a little bit. And then here's actually, I just noticed, the TID, the TID bit is right there. Um, if we go back to Fire Extended, where the guide is written by yours truly, me. Um... Check the name of your save newly added 
and then all those numbers there. And when creating the new CA of the ROM with the new update, put the XXX on the title ID. I'm not going to worry about that because I know this should work just fine. Now, since that's done, we're just going to exit out of this. Pokemon Retro Geo has been changed. Do you want to save changes? I'm going to hit no. Just, I, I don't really need to. At this point here, we are going to... Uh, put the SD card back in to our console and install the game. So I'm going to pause the recording. I'll be on back when that is done. Okay, and we are back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to install the new game and then we're going to launch it. So we're just going to install it. We're going to go in the FBI. Uh, if you want to delete the, uh, the title, you can. That is up to you. I'm going to do install and delete anyways. So we're going to go here to the recharge yellow, install and delete CIA, and then A on both. This part shouldn't take too long. Installing it shouldn't really take all that too long. Um, they're usually not that bad. At least about like a minute is usually what it takes. There we go. So the install has finished. We're going to press A, back, back, start. And then the new software has been added. So we'll unwrap. And we're actually going to open the game. And we're just going to let this load up to uh, the intro screen once again. And then we're going to turn off the, the game, the, the console. So press start, it's loaded. I'm going to pause the recording and we're gonna, I'll meet you guys back in the uh, GM9. All right, we're back in GM, we're back in Gamma 9. So now what we wanna do is we wanna head to Sysnan SD. Actually. No, you wanna go to uh, SD card, so this one here. Go to GM9, go to out, and then copy this dot save. So just press Y to copy the file, it goes to your clipboard. And then we're gonna go to, we're gonna go all the way back. We're gonna repeat steps three, four, and five. Except this time when we go to the fifth step, we wanna hit inject GBA save. So we're gonna go to SysNand virtual. AGB save, options, inject. Save game, inject, success. Now, we will just go ahead and reboot. So hit start again. And we will open up the game. Now, if everything is correct, was done correctly, we should have a, a save on the game. But it should be from 1.4.0 or 1.3.0 in this case of recharged yellow whatever version you were just on it should not be 1.5.0 assuming everything went through correctly it should actually let's we'll keep it on this one it should be the right one I'll just move that a bit more. so what we'll do is press start we have a file here. So far, so good. Um, actually, it, I think it should say on the title screen. I know Fire Extended has it in like the the pause menu there, on like the about. So I thought maybe it would be there too. Pokemon recharged yellow. One point five point zero. Right there in the top corner, I will actually show my mouse, just so you guys can see it. But here we have 1.5.0. So the game was successfully updated. The save file is currently there. And the way you did this here will be the exact same way you'll end up doing it for the rest of the game's lifespan until it gets no more updates. A little bit lengthy of a video for a simple 10 step process, but I really wanted to go and kind of in depth explain things on that. Um, 
like I said before, this should work with any game that gets updates still and has support for transfer and save. So Fire Extended, Recharge the Yellow, uh, Radical Red, I believe, has the same thing. Uh, Ancestral, Ancestral X does, but that is a 3DS game. Um, it might be a little bit more different for that one. I don't know yet for sure. I haven't tackled that one yet. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, do whatever you guys want. Have a great day.